Abdul Ghani. Like I said, we are at Tickles and Jiggles in Chiwatule. Chiwatule is a suburb of Kampala. The venue famously where Edin Joseph defeated Caesar 21-20. Same venue, same table, same everything. Those of you who have not been following so long ago, you will probably identify the venue with that game, with that match. Abdul breaks and puts yellows. All table, all balls are well spread apart. The only thing he will want to do is go. For the game, like I said, both the chairman of the Pool Association of Uganda, Bob Trubish, and the secretary of the Pool Association of Uganda, Mr. Paul Wasike, are present to watch this game. I know they are targeting to watch Humphrey in Suboga. This weekend is the official end to the mini qualifying stage of the Nile Special National Open Pool Championship. The qualifiers at the mini stage end today. We shall have some games next week, but they, are, they will be just continuations of some some venue competitions which were not played to competition or did not happen at all those ones will be played next week and the week after that is around 10th and 11th of august we shall be having regional qualifiers where people will be playing now to qualify for the grand finale that is how it will be thousands thousands have participated in this tournament it is the biggest competition in terms of number of players and prize prizes yes like i was saying this is the biggest pool competition yes in uganda yes in east africa and yes on the entire african continent it's the one where you have a nationwide coverage of participation 55 districts of uganda where the tournament is happening 320 venues close to 400 different tournaments organized thousands of players anywhere between six and eight thousand players are participating maybe ten thousand i will be having official statistics when the mini qualifiers end and the biggest prize category two brand new cars will be taken by two proud winners of this competition the nile special national open pool championship one for the men and one for the ladies defending champions Bwanika mansur men's category rita nemosima ladies category as we look at Abdul Ghani trying to make it 1-1. In the first game, he had a run out in which he failed on the black. The second game, he is making an apple of himself. Abdul Ghani, the guy who won the 2017 Capital Pub Regional Qualifier after defeating Joseph Kasozi in the final, is now trying to equalize against Suga Humphrey, fellow senior player. And he does not put a gain. These are the chances which you give out to Humphrey and he thrives on them. He has very good game reading. He has very good white ball management. He's a very, very, very senior player, a veteran of the game. He lost out the final in 2010 to the eventual winner, Jonah Turija, at Logogo. Rugby grounds. Yes, it were the hockey grounds. He was also the second runner-up in 2014, as well as this, the, the second runner-up in 2018. Then he lost out the semi-final to Lubula Simon, but won the third-place match against Hazard Lokomoa. I call him Uganda's best player without a major title yes 
he is good enough to defeat anyone who plays pool in Uganda but he has never won a title of himself and yes he goes defensive also the direct angle has been snookered so it will take a level of skill for Abdu to try and come out of this angle you'll fancy that if he comes out of it he will be potting because black is already set he's going for two cushions to try and put the black one two no it's a foul thank you guys for watching and following this game here on the Pool Association of Uganda Facebook page from wherever you're following Bobson Molindwa Augustine Eliano we miss you in the sport I've not seen you playing the qualifiers Oscar Dennis Ongom Ugandan watching from Zambia Nsimbi Habat Thomas Alexis Reyes this one is at the venue but in summer we're choosing again to watch on the phone good luck to you sir while paying for the data it is 1-0 Humphrey in the lead looking to make it two we are at tickles and giggles ladies and gentlemen if you want to be to watch this action you need to be in and around kampala the place is very accessible by using the northern bypass anywhere along the anywhere where near the kampala northern bypass where you could be just a few minutes on public transport public means no traffic jam get out of your car at shiwatule bridge and near Chiwatle Bridge is Tickles and Yegos. Five Super League tables at this venue. Humphrey shows glimpses of his class, which make him one of the best players in the region. With that drawn back white, he probably wanted to the whites to displace the red ball which is nearing the black but it was not very successful though the skill was right still aiming to to get the same shot he thinks the white is now good enough this white ball could do the trick cut the ball and put it in the corner pocket right of your screen and the white ball can also unlock the other red ball but the move is not successful he will now most likely lose this game it is abdul against the black which is already set in the corner pocket abdul against the black to make it 1-1 one, one. and yes as easy as that it is now 1-1 one, one. abdul played for nakawa Polo rangers from the year 2010 up to 2012 before joining anchors pool club for a club a team for which he played for around four years he decided to go into retirement in this tournament the nail special national open he won the qualifying tournament in the year 2017 at capital pub in kavalagala on that day he defeated kasozi joseph in the final therefore a shock is very possible it is very possible to have Humphrey Subga as the biggest casualty in the mini qualifiers because it is possible for him to lose this game the way Abdul has handled the first two games even the one he lost a testimony Humphrey breaks and puts reds thank you for watching Joseph Ferry watching from Zambia Ben Mata Benz Ronnie Wes is saying we are also watching live from Crooked Q in Namataba. Thank you for our loving the sport, Ronnie Wes, and supporting our players and organizing tournaments. But we are missing at least the tournament in the past few months. We need one there. Crooked Q is one of the homes of the sport, especially in the district of Mokono. Two pixels photography. That page I know is run by my good friend Francis Mukwekwe from Zimbabwe. Thank you for watching. Dennis Angom says Ghana still shoots. Yes, the guy has been training for this tournament. 
but the draw has not been fair to either of these players one of them has to exit this tournament in the next few minutes yes Humphrey and Gani are currently drawing one one they are racing to four the first player to four will just go into the quarterfinals will not yet be through only four players out of the 16 will be qualifying for the regional finals which regional finals will also be played at the same venue at this venue Subuga Humphrey just three weeks ago lost a money match to Abdallah Hussein Tanzania's number one and since then he stepped up the gear in terms of training and those who have been seeing her, him have been saying he has been looking better and sharper in his training he's trying to break and finish two good shots needed one of them is done this is very good shooting Suboga Humphrey all he needs is a simple drawback with the slightest energy then put both yellow and black in the same pocket very good shooting Suga Humphrey the fans love what they are seeing he's a very loved man especially in this area of Chiwatule and neighboring villages Ntinda Bukoto he's born and bred in this area